Shalom, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekah Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, Wakasayim, Wabarakim, peace, mercy, and blessings unto all of you, Sakwani Wa'akim, to the whole elect, to the Bayak to the one third, to the men, women, and children. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means He exists or He is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means He is the Deliverer. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. And what I just said in the La Kodash, or the um, ancient tongue, or the Paleo Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew, it means um, bless you, or blessings unto the names of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Okay, we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consist of the so-called Negroes, African Americans, colored people, black people, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, Mexicans, Cubans, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, Panamanians, Brazilians. We actually make up the lost 12 tribes of Israel. Okay? The so-called white man, they are not white, they are red. They are the Idumians, according to the Holy Bible. Okay? My name is, the, my name is Marar. I'm the brother with the GMS Solemn Assembly Camp, and I want to do just a quick lesson on, you know, I saw this article on Zero Hedge, and <clears throat> so like it, the video is playing, uh, I'm going to have to restart it, yeah, but anyway, I saw this article on ZeroHedge.com, which is a great alternative news, uh, you know, website for things going on around the world, okay, says, watch looters ransack San Francisco, Neiman Marcus, in broad daylight. Okay, so, man, you, you have all type of shit going on, man. You know, all throughout America, not just America, the world, the murder rate is skyrocketing. Okay, I just seen, I believe it was an article, it could have been a video on Russian Today, where the violence in Sweden, <laughs> the violence over there in Sweden is up. Somebody killed the cop. Maybe it was a week or two weeks ago. But violence is up all over the world, man. Especially in America. It's to the point where now Biden wants to, you know, offer offer to pay, or he is offering to pay more money to police officers because these officers are leaving the force, man. Okay, because it's fucking crazy out here, you know. And then when you niggas get shot, um, you, you're going to protest. You know, the cops are uh, going to get... Um, fucking his name dragged through the mud in the media okay so these so-called white police they see that and they see it's not profitable or lucrative to be a cop anymore you know so a lot of people are leaving the police force you know they're forming coalitions and, and, and different groups such as proud boys you know with their own neighborhoods man to keep you niggas out okay and when i say you niggas i'm talking about you negroes latinos and native americans which you niggas are hypocrites man you kill each other all day long, okay, but then if one of y'all is shot by a, a, a cop, you want to march, you want to, you want to, you want to protest, you want to loot, all right, very hypocritical, man, it says, a mob of looters were captured ransacking a Neiman Marcus store in San Francisco, smashing the play click cases, stealing handbags, and running out of the building before the police arrived, Around 6 p.m., according to the Washington Examiner. Now, who the fuck you think was doing this? Okay? Just reading the headline, you can, you can <laughs> right off the bat, I could tell you niggas were doing this. Okay? Niggas and nigger women and Israelites. Okay? Because this is not something Esau does. Okay? Esau might have walked in there and lit everybody up. <laughs> okay? Only a nigga would go up in there and steal a fucking Neiman Marcus purse, man. Niggas still in handbags and shit. For what? Okay, so if people are in the spirit of... That, that tells you how, how... Man, how fucking low this place is, bro. People are stealing from handbag stores. Okay? That shows you where their mind is at. Not even realizing that we're in a famine. We're in a severe drought. <laughs> okay? These people, man, they're not smart, man. It says the merchandise laden suspects were seen running out of the store before jumping into a getaway car that sped off. 
According to KTVU's Henry K. Lee, at least nine people were involved. At least nine escaped with handbags and purses from Neyman Marcus, Union Square SF after smashing display cases and snatching them from racks just a minute before the store closed. <laughs> okay, so now let's see this uh, video, man. Let's see this beautiful being footage. Okay, that's what's held on. That that's 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 what's held in high regard in in America, man. Fashion, clothes, shit like that. Pretty soon, man, you niggas, you gonna be you gonna be looking to steal from your local food mart. You gonna be looking to steal water, man. Cause why why you have dumbass people with the scriptures, you know, part of our law, statutes, and commandments is what thou should not steal. Everybody knows that, man. All right, you know not to fucking steal. Okay, but what are our people doing? They're stealing handbags, purses, all type of dumb shit, folly for, probably for a, a TikTok talents, okay? And then you know some of these dumb niggas going to get caught because they're going to post it on their Facebook, they're going to post it on their Instagram, they're going to post it on their TikTok, okay? <laughs> Man, here's what, it, here's what it looked like after the group made off with high-end bags and purses from Neiman Marcus Union Square on the case. Similar caper in May. At Neiman Marcus Stanford shop under investigation at Palo Alto Police. So this looks this just looks up at some of the images, man, from Twitter of the aftermath. Okay. Which that's the same video, I believe. Okay. Niggas broke in there and stole purses, bro. What the fuck? So as you can see, this is the aftermath of of the fucking looting. <laughs> okay, but yeah, that just goes to show you where the minds are, of the masses are at, man. Their minds are on, you know, <laughs> man. More on San Francisco's ranch and looting via the Examiner. A man was caught on video in June filling a garbage bag with what appeared to be hair products before leaving a drugstore on his bicycle. <laughs> hey, man, and this is going to increase, okay? And pretty soon right now, you know, once you dumbass niggas realize that you're in a famine, that you're in a drought, then you're going to go to the Walmarts, to the Trader Joe's, to the Wegmans, to the Winn-Dixie's, to the Piggly, Piggly Wiggly's, wherever you're at, man, you're going to head to there, and then you're going to be trying to get food. But you know who's going to be waiting for your ass? The military. And you ain't going to be able to get in unless you got the juice juice, all right? A man was caught on video in June filling a garbage bag with what appeared to be hair products before leaving a drugstore on his bicycle. A security guard who was caught in an incident tried to grab the individual, though he eluded custody. Okay, and when, you, when I saw the video, I think I put it in one of my videos, the, the nigga just did that so he didn't lose his job, man. <laughs> okay, so you're going to have, it shows you that on that movie, um, World War Z. Okay, where Brad Pitt and everybody was in the store looting, and a fucking cop ran in there, and everybody, you know, was looking like, oh shit, the cop coming to arrest us. The cop fucking ran and get what he had to get and got out of there too. <laughs> okay, so all these security guards and these cops, and when when the shit hits the fan in Jacob's trouble and the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America, hey, these man, these people are gonna throw their badges in, they're gonna burn their uniforms, man. Okay, they gonna they gonna be out here with the looters. Walgreens shuttered 17 of its stores in San Francisco area in the past five years, and the company said thefts in the area are four times more likely than anywhere else in the country, as executives budgeted 35 times more sec for security personnel to guard the change. Target executive in the city has also, also decided, decided to limit business hours in response to an uptick in larceny, Shoppers can no longer buy products in a chains after 6 p.m. after once being permitted to shop until 10 p.m. 
For more than a month, we've been experiencing a significant and alarming rise in theft and security incidents at, at our San Francisco stores, said a Target spokesman. Okay, and why is that? Because a lot of people, man, it's an increase in, in homelessness, okay? Even though there's a lot of available jobs out there, a lot of people ain't getting hired, a lot of people never receive stimulus checks, a lot of people never receive unemployment, a lot of people lost their homes, okay? So be people, you have a lot of people whose backs are up against the wall, okay? And, and they're at the point to where they don't give a fuck, you know? And I believe there's a quote saying, when, when you have nothing else to lose, you lose it, okay? So if people are losing it now, and, and they, and they like I said, they're not even taking anything of any significance or any value. Like, they're not they're not breaking into a, a we buy gold store and stealing the gold and silver. They're not smart like that, <laughs> all right? They're doing fucking foolish shit. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 6. It says, folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in a low place and that's what's held in high regard in here if you follow if you even act in a in a manner in a manner you be you'll be praised man folly early 13th century mental weakness foolish behavior or character unwise conduct okay wickedness lewdness madness stupidity okay doesn't the bible call you israelites sodish children my people are sodish children they have not known me, okay? Sadish meaning stupid, man. <laughs> okay, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. You got these same niggas, man. The most I might have them die at a protest, okay? The most I have, might have them get gunned down by cops, okay? It says, St. Police Lieutenant Tracy McCray pinned the blame on D.A. Chesa Budin, whose parents were part of the radical and violent weather underground and left two police officers dead during a botched heist. According to McCray Budin's criminals, First Agenda is responsible for the uptick in crime. What happened in that Walgreens has been going on in the city for quite a while, McCray said in June. I'm used to it. I mean, we could have the greatest, we could have a greatest hits comp compilation of people just walking in and cleaning out store shelves. And security guards, the people who work there, just standing by helplessly because they can't do anything. So we're in the perch when you think about it. If you look at the uptake of violence, the people dying, people being allowed to walk into stores, you're pretty much allowed to do what the fuck you want. You know, another brother, another video has been circulating of this man who, you know, he was walking down the street in New York and just fucking jumped on this woman. Okay? Because the bitch had all the ass and, and, and titties out. So that's another thing. That's going to start happening. Rapings are going to start happening, man. Abductions. Okay. The criminal's first agenda from the district attorney is to blame. Because he's not persecuting any of those crimes as felonies. <laughs> okay. As a commercial burglary, criminals realize this is going to get slapped down to a misdemeanor. See, and let me get a quick scripture, man. You know. It's most high, man. The most high... Man, we're going to see some crazy shit, okay? This ain't nothing. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. And the word for perilous is savage, hard to do, hard to bear, difficult, hard to watch, <laughs> Okay? So, hey, man, we ain't going to have no sympathy when, when, when you niggas get shot down, man. Okay? We ain't going to have no sympathy for you, man. Let's see. Let's see. It says, thefts under $950 are considered a misdemeanor in McCray's area of operation. She added and suspected criminals are often issued citations instead of spending time in jail ahead of their court date in some cases she said these will have their own these will have their case thrown out if they skip their court <laughs> appearances so pretty much man people are being allowed to do whatever they want to do what this says says crime in san francisco has truly become a feature not a bug 
all right? So the crime is so rampant over there, they're used to this shit. Well, guess what? This is going to, it, well, it really it is already in New York, different parts of Brooklyn with all this fucking drill music, all right? All these rap niggas, all they rap about is uh, killing each other. That's another thing. How about Shamil Shai, man? He's bringing heavy judgment upon you rap artists, man. That's all you rap about, killing, kill, killing nigga, you know, excuse my French, have sex with this woman, take it, that's all the lyrics are about, fucking three minute song, and that's all they're talking about, is breaking all the commandments of the Heavenly Father, man, it's the second address chapter five and one, nevertheless, as coming the tokens, behold, the day shall come, that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, Okay, and you people are taking the God of the world has got you, motherfuckers, man. You're being blinded by the God of this world, and you how about Shimmy Shai allowed that to happen, man? Okay, if you have got the juice juice, then you're part of those who've been taken in a great number, man. You've been beguiled, you've been deceived. Okay, now you got the Delta variant coming out. Okay, now they're saying you may have to get more injections. <laughs> that the injections you got are not even effective against the Delta. Hey, this is going to keep going, man. And the way of truth shall be hidden, which we see that happening now. All right, how they're taking down the videos. Okay, another future prophecy is the famine of the word. Okay, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of fate. But iniquity shall be increased above which thou now seest. So iniquity is sin upon sin. Okay. And you can feel the level of wickedness when you walk out your door. Hell, you can feel it in your house. You know, you turn on the TV. Like it's, it's all type of demonic symbolism. You try to watch a movie, there's an alphabet agenda in there. Okay? So iniquity is sin upon sin. It says, but iniquity shall be increased above that which thou now seest, or that thou hast heard long ago. Okay? Going with what? The flood, Sodom and Gomorrah. When the Greeks first came into power, okay? When you read the book of Maccabees, it tells you when the Greeks came into power, that wickedness increased in the earth, okay? But what's happening now, it's going to far outdo all of those times, okay? The wickedness is only going to, man, the wickedness is going to get, <clears throat> it's going to get to its, its climax, all right? And that's why you always try to say, man, if, 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 if he did not shorten the days, it would be no flesh to come back and save because this place is so fucking wicked. And the land that thou seest now to have root, shalt thou see wasted suddenly. Yeah, with nuclear missiles, man. Okay? Because what the Most High is doing and these people, they don't realize it. To show you that they don't realize it, that they have been blinded, you got niggas still in handbags. <laughs> okay, we're in 2021, the, the middle of a goddamn pandemic. All right, the month of July, halfway through the year. Okay? Niggas are still in handbags. Come on, man. Okay, they gonna be you gonna be taken in a great number to concentration camps, to be tortured, to be slaughtered, to get the karagma, the Revelation thirteen and sixteen prophecy. Okay, the hour of temptation is upon us, man, and these people they're right for the picking. But the Most High, He's gonna start with His people. He's gonna start with the Israelites, man. The Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. That's why we do these lessons to let you know. That you need to repent, come back un unto your power, all right? Because we're in a time of extreme judgment. This is Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. Okay, so adulterers, Yahweh Hashem is getting ready to punish adulterers, wicked women, demonic children, all right, demonic men, okay, of the Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, let me get this one in Peter, man, because judgment is going to start at the Lord's house, this is First Peter chapter 4, verse 7, I'm sorry, 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai Bahashem means in the name. When you pray to the Heavenly Father, you must pray to Him in the name of the Son. 
And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai? Right, so the judgment is going to begin, and you see why the judgment is going to begin at, at, at the Lord's people. All right, because they're, they're, they're totally wicked, man. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? It's going to get so bad out here that the righteous are going to scarcely be saved, man. You're going to be saved by the hairs on, on your chinny chin chin, man. <laughs> okay, but that's all. I just wanted to do a, a quick lesson on this madness. You know, I pray that this has been edifying. Call Hello Yim La, all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, that taught us the truth. And Shalom, Wakasayim, Wabarakim, peace, mercy, and blessings to all of the hopeful elect. Shalom.